In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome text title effect in Camtasia 2021 and higher. There's a really simple trick for making the text stand out from the video background that includes a couple of tips when using media mats. Hi, Lon Naylor here. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get started. First, a quick shout out to the idea and inspiration for this asset. It actually comes from a PowerPoint tutorial by my favorite PowerPoint expert, a dude called OneSkill. You can check him out and his PowerPoint version in the description. Also in the description, you find a link to get all the resources for this tutorial so you can follow along and learn. And while you're there, be sure to check out the best Camtasia training program on this or any other planet, the Camtasia Mastery Super Bundle. Okay, here I've downloaded some video clips from Pexels.com for our demo project. They're the same ones OneScale uses in his PowerPoint version, and we're going to see if we can recreate the effect in Camtasia. I'll select all four videos, drag and drop them into the media bin, and here's your first Camtasia tip. Click the drop down here and go to project settings and choose your canvas dimensions before adding the videos to the timeline. By default, if you go to edit, preferences, Camtasia will be using the settings you have on the project tab. That's great and all, except if the first piece of content you add to the timeline is not those dimensions, like this clip, now all of a sudden your project is set to those dimensions which may or may not be what you want. Setting your canvas size as your first step eliminates this issue. Now when I put this odd size clip on the timeline, it goes into a 1080p HD size canvas. And trust me, there are lots of video and media on Pixels, Pixabay, Unsplash, and others that are not standard video sizes. Now I'm just going to press and hold my shift key and stretch this a little to fit. Now let's make a copy of this video clip by pressing Control C, Control V, and now I have two copies, one on top of the other. Click on the top copy and on the Properties tab in the Y rotation value, change it to 180 degrees. Basically flipping the clip horizontally. Next, let's grab a text callout and drop it on top. Pick a really chunky font like Arial Black. And I probably want to use all caps. I want a lot of real estate inside my text. Let's make it as big as possible. Let's set the slider all the way to the right. Uh, yeah, that's not very big. So in case you didn't know, this value can actually go up to 500 if we enter it in. And if that's not big enough, go to the Visual Properties and scale the callout up as big as you want. And I want it big. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, great. Now let's add a media mat visual effect to our text callout. An alpha mat, which of course means that only whatever is directly underneath the text will show. And it will show inside the text. Let's give that a look. So the video that shows in the text is different than the one in the background. And it's a pretty cool way to show your title text. But notice that well, it's kind of hard to see and make out exactly what the text says. Now you might suggest, well, just add a drop shadow to the text and make it pop off the background. I like your thinking, but here's the problem. If we add a drop shadow to the text, Remember that it's a media mat. Any shadow around the edges is going to let the underneath track appear, but in a fuzzy, drop shadowy kind of way. Oh! Literally the opposite of the effect we want. So here's a simple hack. Let's select our flipped video and media mat text and move them up a track. Put the playhead at the beginning of the title clip then click on the text callout and control C, control V. That'll pop a copy of the text into the track just above the original background video and the video inside the text callout. We want to remove the media mat and add a drop shadow effect. 
I use the center angle, change the color to black to make it pop a little more, set the opacity to 100, and play with the blur amount to see if you can get a good definition. We're going for a nice, bold, and noticeable shadow. And because the two text elements are exactly the same size, the drop shadow on the bottom one with no media mat extends beyond the text itself just a bit, and it can be seen much better. To make the demo title sequence, basically repeat this process with different videos and title text. But hey, if you'd like to get all the files for this and other projects, more tips, tricks, tutorials, resources, reviews, and recommendations, just click the link and sign up for my free Camtasia newsletter. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or question, and I'll see you next time.